This is a quick tutorial to show you how to use fonts or install fonts for use in Zara. The same approach can be used probably for other applications, of course, uh, since accessing the fonts is basically the same approach in Photoshop, Painter, and many other applications. But this is actually just for um, Zara. So I'm just going to go to the font here. Uh, this is a graphicextras.com font. Uh, there's about, well, 100, 100 plus fonts available on Graphic Extras. This is the Cats font, pack 112. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the open with command. Now, I could just do open, but it's actually currently set to font lab, so that would actually open that. So I'm just going to use the Windows font viewer because the Windows font viewer has a useful command of install. This is in Windows 7. Right, so click install. You can see some of the designs in the, in the things, various cats. So I'm click install. Now it'll come up and ask me for a password. Once entered, it should install. Yeah, install in etc. Fonts. Right, so that's now accessible in Zara. And I'm just going to start up Zara. I've got Zara here. This is version 6, photo and graphic Dino 6. Get rid of that and just go over to the text tool. Text tool, and you see all the various fonts that are actually listed. And there's the GX font because because it's a, a decorative font, it actually obviously displays the font in the design using the design. So obviously, uh, it's a, as a cat, it's just going to show pictures of cats for the name of the font. Some font obviously applications display them differently, so actually, you can see it there. GX112 cats and the font size. So I'm just going to click there. So I'll just increase the size a bit. And I'm just going to type one of the fonts. So now, any of the characters, just basically use the keyboard. So you just you can access the design. So A, B, so B, C, D. There is actually um, the best way to do it is the charm app it's quite a useful utility you can go to start and you can actually access the charm app application to actually uh, see designs but also there's a pdf that comes with document now this is basically the same approach can be used for any font so it's not just the graphic extras.com fonts but uh, you can use it for other fonts so I'm just going to get rid of those ones and just use the b design i'm just going to increase the size a bit change the color so there's a change of color and now once I've got the cat design in there I can actually if I want to I can quickly add a shadow get rid of that undo shadow also I can use the design just use the good old 3d tool I can move that around quick and easy Drop, get rid of that also I can use the bevel tool so you can actually create a quick bevel Z and also blend contour tool. There's obviously many other tools you can, of course, use. There's a nice quick contour. You can, of course, use live effects as well with the thing. So I'm just going go to live effects, live effects, and you see they're new. And you get a list of various live effects. So I'm just going to select, well, select any of them. But, uh, Soften as in blur. So you can just quickly apply a blur effect or whatever. I mean, that's just uh, one of the designs you can use, one of the tools you can use. And well, that's the basic approach for using a font design. Now, there's uh, in the graphic extras fonts, there's thousands and thousands of different designs you can use, and you can use them straight in the thing. And of course, you can export them to uh, PNG or whatever, and or combine them with other parts of the design use them for website designs and so much more. I mean, it's uh, very useful tools and fonts are one of the best ways of accessing a whole range of vector designs. Uh, and as they're vectors, you can use them any size of documents. So you can just basically increase the size without any real impact, or any impact on the design. So, so I've just created a bigger one. It's obviously just applied the Gaussian blur again. Anyway, okay, thanks.